Welcome back to Extravagant Fragrances. Today, uh, I would like to um, offer some solutions for those of you who um, who have student debt. Um, we know that one of the uh, biggest debts now in uh, in the U.S. is student debt, and uh, all you have to do is just drive around some of uh, your larger college or university campuses and just look around um you know if 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 you're a student you're going to school for a certain uh a certain skill um you know you're, you're already from day one unless you have a uh, full ride scholarship um or your parents are you know are rich and they could just pay off your entire education um you know, if you're if you're taking a loan, uh, then you, from day one, are already you're going into school. You know, tens of thousands, or even a, you know, maybe a, over a hundred thousand dollars in student debt. So, and uh, it's 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 evident. You know, you you could see a lot of the signs um, of when you go onto a co onto a college campus. You could see. Uh, you know, you have your your, your blood donation uh, centers um, all over the campus. Uh, at least some of the campuses that I've that I've stepped foot on, and um, so I'm here to offer a solution. Uh, you know, it's I won't say it's the only solution, but it's a solution. Uh, you know, for those of you who may be in debt and you're trying to make the best of the situation. And still be able to go to school and get your 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 student debts paid off. Um, so, <clears throat> what I can offer is, uh, you know, first of all, let me tell let me tell a story. Uh, I like to tell stories. Uh, so I, I I knew another vendor, and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because um, I see an opportunity uh, where maybe others don't see it or maybe haven't seen it. And um, I knew one one fellow vendor. I mean, this guy he was already kind of like. I mean, he's not by any means young. He looks good for his age, but uh, the guy was, you know, already. You know, he's in his late fifties, uh, approaching sixty. You know, his his sixties. So uh, what he told me was, he would go during the busy hours uh, on to the uh, college campuses. Um, in California, in uh, SD, I think it was the SDSU, on one of the campuses there, and during the busy hours, you know, in between classes or when you know the classes are letting out, uh, he'd walk on campus, um, and he would just have his his fragrance oils. You know, I don't know if he had them displayed on an oil belt or if he had. I think he had like a carry case, and um, he would. You know, uh, very politely, you know, ask some of the uh, students if they like to smell his fragrances. And sure enough, um, it got to the point where this guy was, I mean, that was his bread and butter. He, he could literally go to a campus, um, share some of the oils with some of the students. And that was, and he would work it just like a regular job. He would work it like a regular job. Um, and... He'd go out there. He'd spend a few hours. And he'd make enough money uh, for the day. I mean, more than he would have made, let's say, at a regular job because it's sales. Okay. Um, now, I'm telling you this story. Uh, mostly, this is geared towards the uh, the students. Um, you know, the students that are that are in debt. This is really who I who I'm um, targeting is because uh, you know. I, I feel for those I feel for those people that are uh, that have that much debt I, I couldn't I really I could not live with that much debt um, you know it just it's yeah it's not good you know I, I've never been comfortable with living with debts uh, so what I wanted to share with you is that you know if you're new to this channel if you kind of stumbled upon this video um, you I mean how many students are on a campus you've got I don't know what thousands, you know. If it's a if it's a big campus, there's thousands of students on a campus. 
um, you know, age ages from from let's say 18 to you know 20s, okay. And um, you know, everybody likes fragrances. And what I'm trying to say is, you know, the if 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 you actually um, look at some of my older videos, um, I started in this in the fragrance business, particularly the fragrance oil business, uh, with the 144 bottle kit. Uh, I think that's ideal if you're a student, you know, especially especially you females out there. I'm sure you have a lot of female friends, you know, um, you probably hang out, you're spending time with your friends, you know, let them smell your fragrances. Check out the, uh, the, the, the kits, the wholesale kits that I offer, because the markup on each bottle is, is decent, okay? Uh, you're talking about something that you're coming in, you know, let's say... Uh, at 189 bucks on up to let's say the 200s right for let's say let's say uh, the roll-on kit would be ideal for uh, a college student and um, so you're paying what maybe let's say a dollar and some change dollar fifty maybe a dollar sixty something uh, per bottle and then you're talking about you turn around you're selling it for six to eight dollars um, maybe ten dollars I don't know or if you upsell it you could do let's say you know uh, one for eight or four for twenty right uh, so you see there's there's a there's a way to um, you know while you're in school um, you can actually build a business you know while you're there in school okay uh, and, and 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 you know and start to collect emails right don't just like make it like a you know something where it's a one-time sale. Here's a student that I've met, and I'm never going to see this student again. No, collect emails, build up a mailing list because mailing lists now. I mean, they're mailing lists are like money, right? If you have a mailing list, if you have a hot email uh, email leads, right? That's just as good as money because you don't have. It's not like you know the old days where you know people would do telemarketing and here it is you're calling up cold leads people that you don't know you don't even know if they're interested in your product no these are emails you're collecting all of these you know if you do it over a span of I don't know how many years that you're in school you you, you, you could possibly collect you know thousands of leads right and build your your uh, your uh, your database of emails okay and actually turn it into a business um, that will help you pay off your college uh, your college debts your student debts you see what I'm saying so and uh, it, I would say the sky is the limit because you can make it into a re you can start it off as a retail thing and you can work your way up to the point where it's like now okay now you're wholesaling now you are purchasing oils in bulk okay now here it is. You're on the campus, and now you've got a now you've got a storage unit, right? Maybe maybe off campus, maybe on campus. I don't know. Where now you have bottles, right? Now, you see what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, uh, like I said, you know, my 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 heart goes out to those that are are tens of thousands of dollars of debt in debt, and they don't know how they're going to get out of it. Okay, uh, and this is this is just a solution. You see. Um, if it was me, if I was tens of thousands of dollars in debt, uh, and I didn't know about the oils, I would go into some, something like sales, right? Um, because it doesn't require like, it, it doesn't require more time than let's say working a job, right? That's going to dig into your student, uh, um, uh, your classes, you know, your time that you've got to study, um, if you go into sales where you're selling uh, products or merchandise to other students, then, then it, this is going to allow you to kind of, you know, getting into a sales business will allow you to kind of leverage your time a little bit, right? So um, this is something I would definitely look into if I were you. If you're at, if you're a student, you've got all this debt. You don't know how you're going to get out of it. You, you're kind of, you know, ball and chain. Um, this is one solution you may want to look into and uh, uh, I hope I provided enough details in this video uh, but if I were you I would check out the other videos 
okay, um, to get more details about this. But this is uh, uh, specifically more, like I said, targeted to the students. Uh, for those who aren't students, uh, well, you heard my video. You heard the uh, the story I mentioned in the beginning, okay, about uh, the guy that I know that was making a full time living, um, just selling the fragrance oils to uh, students on the campuses. So there you have it. Uh, there's so many outlets, right? There's so many different ways to get the fragrances out on the market. Um, you know. I don't know if I mentioned before, but uh, another, I know this kind of, well, it is on the topic kind of, but not kind of not, and that is uh, hitting up juice bars, right? Going up to the gyms, uh, you see people are working out. A lot of juice bars now, they sell deodorant, they sell soap, they know people are going to freshen up before they, they you know, go to work in the morning time. So why not offer them something there on the countertop? You know, that's not gonna take a lot of space, right? Uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's all about being creative. So um, I hope this, uh, you all found this helpful and uh, insightful. Uh, and for those students out there, contact me for more information. Um, you know, I think I provided as much information as I can on this channel. Uh, but contact me for more information and uh, I, I just may address it in another video just so I can have some content to talk, to talk about. So anyways, I uh, hope this helps and um, like this video, subscribe and share. Have a great day, everybody.